So why are you folks here? He's asking why we'd like to see an end to the war in Iraq. And we want to bring our boys and girls home. We're tired of having them killed for a war that we shouldn't well, right be involved Well, right now we're waiting for our reports to arrive. And as soon as they do, we'll deliver them to Mr. Buchanan's staff. Who's he? We don't know. Oh, he's just a, he's a, he's a blogger. I'm a citizen. He's just a citizen blogger. He's a constituent. Now, whether they're First Amendment or not, I don't know. I, I haven't got a ruling uh, okay. on that yet. <laughs> okay, take care. I got to uh, move on. Florida Consumer Action. Um, Florida Veterans for Common Sense. Women for Peace. Florida Palestine. Which one? Everybody wants to come? I can guess why you're all here, but you can, you can tell me. Well, Put up your signs and then. Uh, we heard you were serving lunch. <laughs> well, actually, this is, yeah, I'm not. Uh, we're with uh, MoveOn.org. Yeah, you, move you heard of it? Yes. Okay, MoveOn.org has just started their Out of Iraq campaign. Okay, and we want to just explain to the uh, powers that be, mm -hmm. wherever they are, that. Uh, retarded in Iraq war. It's not doing us any good. Any way you slice it. Yep. Right now it's cost American people four hundred and fifty six billion dollars total. Twenty five billion for Florida alone and forty one thousand seventy two thousand. Seventy two se million five hundred thousand. Seventy two million five hundred thousand for uh, our, our county alone. For, which adds up to approximately forty one hundred dollars for every household in the country, $4,100. This is a paper telling Mr. Buchanan what could happen if we weren't spending that money. Our education program would be next to none. It would be the best education program we ever had if we used 1% of that money. And there's various other things in Health here. Health insurance for everybody. Right. This report really highlights the trade-offs of the money we're spending yeah. there. For instance, on there it shows that te for 10 days in Iraq, we could fully fund Florida's K-12 through education program, which is a better investment to make in Florida, right. here in our students, and for America, than spending this money over there. And I'm a teacher, so I can vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of teachers here today? I'm a graduate student. <laughs> well, that counts. That counts. Investment advisor. So are there are there different more? groups being oh, yeah. represented yeah. here today? Here yes, there are. Today. Move on is the the, the Umbrella. instigating Umbrella. Right. Oh, the gotcha. instigating organization. The they call, they call the meeting, mm -hmm. and rising to that call are Florida Veterans for Common Sense, mm -hmm. which this fellow over here and I and another guy, Mike Burns, a former POW, okay. and Hanoi Hilton formed back in about 03, 03 or 04. Uh, we have Code Pink, of course, with us here. Uh, we have the Florida Consumer Action Network, uh, oh, which really brought the U.S. Oh, Consumer yeah. Action Network. I will forward. never remember everything. <laughs> no, we're gonna so I it. hope you're going to write all this oh, out yeah. for me. <laughs> okay. Excuse okay. me, I don't have the spelling of your name, may I? My last name is, I have to think of which one, uh, B-A-Z, <laughs> it's a long story, B-A-Z-E-L-L. You have a that's, first that's name, a too. Nice one. Barbara Basil. That's, that's, good. Good. that's, that's a good name. Yes, it is. My uh, maiden name was Dadoshevsky, so I, I <laughs> to say, how many people would you say is in your entire group? In our group, we yeah. have about 100 genes. About 100 to 150. In, in our in group. Move on. In move yeah. on. No, that's, oh, that's, 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 that's just, just your. Group. That's that's a, just a, well, we're this So how many range. people are we represented right now? Oh, mm -hmm. the whole Afghan, crowd. Afghan has 30,000 in the state and a couple thousand just in this district. And move, move on. on. Over 2,000 in this district. Well, actual members. Yeah. Move, move on is okay. infinite. Yeah, well, I mean, well, I mean, that's a number that's difficult to put my mind around. Yeah, it's, yeah, I never could get a hold of myself. Okay. But anyway, um, so you because have some we've information been, well, here for us, uh, I think, statistics. And I think this, the Vern staff should have already seen most of these reports, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, Mr. Jones has been kind enough to make a compilation not only of our call for withdrawal. Okay. Now we came out for withdrawal by the end of this year. We did that about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And we recognize that that's not going to happen mm -hmm. just on a logistical mm -hmm. basis, but until we get the ball moving in that direction, it's never going to happen. And the fundamental reasons for that position are set forth in the attachments. Okay. 
Um, and they are, of course, um, highly reliable individuals um, who have lots of experience in this field telling us why this is a bad thing. I will certainly pass this information on to the congressman he when he gets back into town. No, he's not in town. Is he in the Middle East? Uh, I'm not privy to say for security reasons. Um, but no, I, after no, <laughs> I, no, 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 I, can, I cannot tell you. Could be. But um, it's, he is not in the district. That was so wonderful for her to take the time to spend, to, to let us vent and share our information. But I mean, she's, she's not the one in charge. We're to be fairly quick. How about that? Sounds like me and Jack. So I felt like we kind of imposed. At least you can talk that, that was my opinion. That we and it's on. Crystal Hutchison, I'm with Florida Consumer Action Network, and we met with his constituent services advisor, I believe, Barbara, and it's unfortunate that we didn't get to meet with Ron Turner, the director, or Selena, the scheduler, or Mr. Buchanan himself, but we were all there, we were all very outspoken, and we told her again how we all urge Representative Buchanan to take a stand against this war in Iraq.